me in a turtleneck. And I never know how to feel in a turtleneck. I feel like a turtleneck is like a statement and I don't know if I wanna make it. I'm not sure what the statement is. Anyway, um, hi. Today is a part two of my Blob Universe creation thing. If you weren't here last week, there is a good place to start. You're kinda coming in this at the middle here and it's kind of an awkward place to be joining. This is an ongoing series. After this video, we are going to return back to my other types of content. However, this is not the last that you will see of Blob Universe. I'll be bringing it back a couple months from now. We're breaking things up, okay? We wanna be focused, but not hyper fixated to a level of crazy. We're just a step below crazy, and that's how I like it. Today, I'm going to knock out as many more blobs as I can knock out without sacrificing quality, because I do want to love every single individual blob that I make, and I want every single individual blob that I make to be perfect. I'm not asking for a lot. I'm just asking for absolute flawless perfection. That's, that's it. it. So am I going to be pumping out 20 or 30? Mm, probably not, but we're gonna get a lot done considering how long these are taking me. Let me just shut up and let's get into creating some more blobs. We are jumping right in to a bloody blob. Poor guy. Your suffering is gonna end soon, I promise. I'm gonna start as I always do when I remember, because sometimes I forget, but I'm always supposed to smooth out the bottom of the blob because that stuff is nasty. And even though nobody's really gonna see the underside, I know it's there and I just can't live with that. Once that's all smoothed out, I'm gonna work on creating the little headdress for this character. That's right, she has a headdress. It's kind of a precarious shape here. I'm a little bit worried about it breaking off, but I'm just gonna have faith. Once that's um, that, that, I'm taking some of these little flower charms, which I have just found so many uses for lately. I mean, boy, these are just MVPs right now. Okay, no, that's an exaggeration. I literally only use them one other time, but still, these little flowers are going to be essential to help me create the bouquet for my character called Daisy. And Daisy, you can thank these little pieces of plastic for your existence in the Blob universe. Because if I had to sculpt all of these tiny flowers by hand, I wouldn't do it. Right now I'd be working on, I don't know, maybe Angry Pig or, <gasps> I wanna do Angry Pig. Anyway, once those are all in a place that I can tolerate, I'm gonna carve in the little detail of the bouquet. I guess this is like the flower stems here, just giving this texture and I'll let that dry. A few days later and look at us. I am noticing some of the flowers have come loose. Unacceptable. So I'm taking some super glue and I'm going to secure any of the flowers that have come loose. And then using some puffy paint, I'm gonna fill all of the gaps in between the flowers. This is not only gonna help to further secure all the flowers on, but it's also gonna make the painting easier. If you've ever tried to paint inside of tiny deep crevices, <laughs> interesting statement, painting tiny deep crevices is a special form of torture. I wouldn't use it on my worst enemies. Next, I'm going over all the little flowers with a coat of white, just so I don't have to compete with all of those crazy colors for my new paint job. And you know, why not cover up that blood while I'm at it? It's the merciful thing to do. Now, fresh slate and time for the color. Of course, I'm going with green for Daisy because she is a frog, but a special frog. The most specialist of the frogs because she has flowers growing out of her head. Got the whole front painted. Uh, oh, never mind. Gotta paint that again. Now, I thought that this idea, you know, the, the flower headed frog was just a ridiculous idea from my mind. But then just last week, I saw an article about, about a, a frog, frog with a mysterious mushroom literally growing from its body. Scientists are unable to explain why. Hey, I guess Daisy's experience has been validated, okay? It is possible for a frog to have a plant growing directly from its body. Look at Mushroom Boy, okay? It's not that weird. Time to paint the flower bouquet, starting with the green areas in between the flowers, then moving on to the flowers themselves. Now, ever since I decided to turn Daisy into a blob universe character probably like three months ago at this point i've thought about this a lot. I have been dreading this moment. The painting of each of these tiny individual flowers and just the crevices. Oh, the crevices, the crevices. Crevices are the bane of my existence. In fact, I hate them. But truth be told, this was actually not that bad. I really built it up in my head. I thought this is gonna be so difficult. This is gonna look so sloppy. It'll be impossible. But that's the great thing about having very low expectations. I'm actually pleasantly surprised with how well this turned out. Now I can move on to sketching the face. Once I have the rough placement, 
effacement. I'm gonna go in with the rosy cheeks first. And green is always the most miserable color to blend rosy cheeks into. It's because red and green are complementary colors and you blend them together, they get brown, yeah. Bleh. Anyway, once I got them on, I'm just popping on the eyes, mouth, nose, pupil, other pupil, and then the rest of the finishing details that are needed to complete this character. And here is Daisy. She doesn't have the classic frog physique. Wait, isn't she a toad? No, 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 no. It's a toad. Oh my gosh, I don't know. But I am just so pleased with that bouquet. I can't even contain it. I love it. It looks so cute. Moving on to the next one. This character is going to start with some nice bear ears. I feel like this is familiar. How many Blob Universe characters have started with bear ears? One, two, a few. Okay, it's a few, but we're not gonna stop there. This character is getting a hula skirt. It's not a hula skirt, but it kind of looks like a hula skirt and that's bothering me. I knew this character was gonna be a bit of a challenge, but I went for it anyway. It's berry citrus currently trying to figure out how to deal with her strawberry leaves at first i had them poking straight out this is horrendous you're gonna injure someone with those put, put it, it away. away i ended up flattening them and laying them down a little bit still does look a lot like a hula skirt but um i think maybe when it's painted it'll look better Sure. Once this one was dry, I noticed quite a few rough areas on it, so I ended up sanding those down and cleaning this up quite a bit. And now I'm ready for paint, starting with white. I'm gonna paint her whole head white and then the bottom part of her body in pink to be the strawberry. I was a little bit saddened by how small the strawberry part of this has become. So I decided to paint her feet in pink as well, even though in the original design, her feet are poking out of the strawberry. They had now been taken over by strawberry. Next is green and yes, I am still using the remainder of my mural paint that I mixed up like two years ago. Okay. Yeah, nobody remember that. Just the fact that this paint has lasted that long is incredible. Great performance. Just stellar. Outstanding. Finally, I'm adding the black and oh, I actually started painting her ear black. Almost forgot that berry citrus has orange and lemon sliced ears. We cannot leave the citrus out, out of berry, berry citrus. citrus. Then she would just be berry panda. Huh? Actually, she'd be pretty cute that way. Still, it's berry citrus. Okay, we're keeping it. Once I had done some little touch-ups, I'm painting in the orange and lemon ears. And yeah, that's looking pretty... Oh, the back. <sighs> Have I really not even started on the back? Okay, come on. Blah, 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 blah. Once I've got the entire figure painted, it's time for the little details. Berry Citrus is one of the more challenging paint jobs that I've done so far for Blob Universe, just because of how many different colors and details she has. And you know, everything you see me doing once, I probably in reality at least do it three times because everything requires at least two coats of paint. And then I almost always mess something up and have to go back and fix it. So it adds up. I did also decide to add a fuzzy edge along the bottom of her face. Uh, I thought it might help to make that line a little bit less harsh. I also added some fuzz into the edges of the panda patches, which I know someone is gonna hate. Me. Oh, okay. Well, personally, I like it, so I'm gonna keep it. Then I'm adding the black eye, which you can barely see. That's just the way pandas be. Adding her citrus freckles, as well as her little strawberry dots. And here is berry citrus in blob form. She's got a lot lot going on here. Okay, is, is it, it too much? much? I don't know. I don't think so. I'm happy with the way this one came out. I won't say it's my all-time favorite of the blobs, but I'm satisfied. Time for the next character. And with this one, we're gonna move away from remaking my existing characters and into the unknown. It all starts with a little worm getting smoothed onto a face. I'm just getting started. I'm making a completely new character, which fun fact is going to be paired with the character that I'm making next in this video. But uh, no, 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 that's skipping ahead. She's actually wearing a costume, okay? She's not a scuba diver. This is supposed to look like the edge of her costume, and she is a bunny. She's not wearing a bunny costume, unlike some people who are not present today. Miss you, buddy. She actually is a genuine bunny. So I gave her some nice tall bunny ears, and once those dried, I went in with a coat of white paint over the entire figure, because this design is gonna be mostly white. Like, 70% of this is already done. What? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go in with the face color. I went with a 
this really warm, rich brown. And I looked at it and I was just like, mm, this is just a little too warm and rich. So I toned it down a bit and started again. Then I thought, you know what? Let's, let's just go even lighter. Stop, stop, stop right, right there. there. You are not following her vision. You need to stay true to her vision. <clears throat> what the heck is she talking about? Well, truthfully, this design was not created by the coherent me that you all know. This design came to me in a dream. <laughs> That's right, I dream about how to paint my blobs. In my dream, I saw what this figure was supposed to look like. I want to stay true to that and see if subconscious me is capable of making good design choices. That's the question on everyone's mind right? You were all wondering that? I do remember another very distinct feature of this design that I must include, button eyes. I don't know what is going on with me and the button eyes recently, but I'm back at it again. Don't blame me. It's her. It's the sleeping me. Now the exact details of the face are a little fuzzy, literally, because she's a bunny, so she probably has a fuzzy face. But also, I don't really remember, so I am kind of making some of that up. I do remember that she had a yellow heart nose and a yellow thread that went through her button eyes. And the last and perhaps the most important detail that I remember from my dream was that she had a rainbow coming down from the bottom of her hood all the way to her feet. I thought about doing this in pastel rainbow, but no. The dream said a bright rainbow, so we are sticking to that. Once I added this rainbow, this character looked really familiar to me. She looks just like the character from my dream. This is her. I feel like coherent me would have added a little bit more. There's a lot of plain white, but it's, it's different. Why is she in a white costume with a rainbow and then the button eyes are because why i don't know i do know her name is sunny is it because sunny rhymes with bunny well or is it because her yellow accents maybe or is it because of her sunny disposition uh or the fact that she kind of looks like she's dressed as a cloud and her face is a sun yes for all those reasons her name is sunny on to the last character this is going to be sunny's companion because in my dream there were two characters and they were a duo this one is also where wearing a costume. I tried to roughly match the shape with Sunny's costume. Excuse the sequence of events here. This one is a bear and his ears need to be just massive to accommodate what is to come. Once the clay is dry, I'm giving him a nice coat of white paint. Now the difference between Sunny and Bernard. <laughs> his name is Bernard. I don't know why. I mean, I do know why. He's a bear, but also I don't know why. I can't remember the exact details of this character at all. I know his colors were the same as Sunny's and he had the same button eyes but the rest of this i'm gonna have to just make it up maybe he's got some freckles just i don't know maybe he also has a heart nose and matching thread but we'll make it blue i do remember that bernard's rainbow accents were within his ears i can't remember exactly how but it roughly looked like this as i'm cleaning this up i'm thinking about just how much i dislike his face so i painted over the freckles and the nose made the tuft of hair coming out of his costume painted the nose dark brown added some eyebrows Oh. Added back the freckles, but fewer this time. Hated that. Removing it all again. And I decided to add some little patches. I'm thinking maybe Bernard and Sunny are stuffed animals, you know? Hence the button eyes. And their costumes must be because they live in a cloud society of... Fluffyville, capital of Dreamtopia. It's a place where stuffed animals live as clouds. <laughs> so anyway, he has patches now, but I thought that the smaller patch was just too much. So I got rid of that and ultimately added the same rosy cheeks that are on Sunny. Good grief. Bernard was a little bit of a journey, but I really like where he ended up. I will say he looks a little plain. There's a lot of white. For being designed by my subconscious, these aren't half bad. I mean, I think they're pretty cute together. And now this makes 12 different blob universe designs. The universe is growing. It feels like a lot, but um, you know, I said I wanted to make 5,000, so we still got 4,988 left. For now, I'm very happy with my 12. I will be back to the blob universe soon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next Friday. Bye. What the heck? I think the power just went out. What the heck is happening? Okay, sorry. <laughs> my power just went out.